Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face, and hey, the music's working this time! You know, I never thought I would miss the creepy whispering. Oh, hey. Calm down, frame rate. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't like this. Oh! Ha! Where'd he go? Ah, oh, Jesus! Ha! Suck it, goat man! Huh! You know what? The frame rate is still going eh. Maybe it's this region. I'm going to assume that means I'm at full health. Die! I'm going to pretend that I knew that was there, because that seemed so much cooler that way. <laughs> Before I walk through that door, uh, shout out to Elthwar, who informed me that the language they speak in modern Egypt is uh, Arabic. In fact, Egyptian Arabic is the most widely understood form of the language. I'm going to guess that the statue is going to start talking. Because that is a statue of Anubis. So, you are Sphinx. How disappointing. I was expecting so much more. I know why you have come here. You wish to attempt that which many others before you have failed. If you wish to free the people of the Cursed Palace, you must prove to me that you are worthy. Your first test will be one of courage and faith. Come, Sphinx. Come closer to me. Do not be intimidated by the deadly chasm of lava. Indiana Jones called it. Ha! That was merely a party trick in comparison to the full power I possess. Your second test will be one of skill and technique. You must capture three fire armadillos in the area you have just passed through. Take these capture beetles. They are the tool you will, you will require. Use them wisely. Prove to me that you are worthy and I will grant the freedom of some of the cursed palace inhabitants. You got the beetle pouch. This pouch enables you to carry up to 20 capture beetles, which can be used to capture many different kinds of monster. To capture a monster, you must first attack it until it becomes vulnerable to capture. When this is the case, it will flash yellow in color. Once the monster is vulnerable, release a capture beetle. Guide the beetle into the monster using the right stick. When the beetle collides with the monster, it will be captured and added to your inventory. what this is. Oh, we just talked to Anubis. Fair enough. Eh, fuck it. I don't work for you. I'm gonna check this out first. Oh. Well, I don't have a key to get back here, so let's not do that yet. Amulet, that's the word I was thinking of. Still basically a key. Um, let's look at my notes here. Also, like to give a shout out to Rachel Starwith, who uh, mentioned in a comment that she was a, uh, you know 
preparing for Hurricane Dorian. Just wanted to say, hope you and yours are doing just fine, and I hope things are going well for you, as well as can be expected under the circumstances. Hope to hear from you again. Yeah, it is this room. Oh, that's really squirrely. Reminded of this uh, video series I saw once. Where, uh... Your standard pistol in that game had uh, unlimited ammo, you know, infinite bullets, and uh, there's a bit in the storyline where you give it to someone for their own protection, because by that point you've got you know, shitloads of ammo for all the other guns. I had to do something like that first. Shit, there's two different kinds. Where are you? Oh. Oh, it didn't work. I kind of thought it was going to be like a first person shooter thing. Oh, I can't uh, turn the camera while the beetle is running around. Yeah, that was an abject failure. Is this the one with the snake in it? Oh! Almost fucked that one up. No, it's under the horrible spider thing in it. Aha! Wrong button! Oh no, it isn't here. Uh, wasp spider. Fuck, that's a terrible name. By which I mean that sounds terrifying, not that's a bad name. The wasp uh, spider poses a threat with its sharp front claws which scythe through the air and prey. Kick ass. You know, can't pull that again. I guess it wouldn't really make sense to. Out you go. Meet you on the other side. And this is gonna get old. And in this game, when the, uh... The guy hands over his pistol to an NPC for their protection... The guy who is playing just totally deadpans... And it's here, take my gun. It has unlimited ammo. And just the idea of uh, like a game acknowledging that uh, a gun has you know limitless bullets inside the uh, you know, the game's fiction is strangely hilarious to me. You know, like you miss a bunch of times and we'll go. I mean, you know, again, this wasn't in the actual game. It was something the player said, but just the concept I found so funny, as if he was speaking in character. I'm getting better at this. It's almost like experience uh, is the best teacher. Oh! 
Oh, hell! Okay, I guess you die. You seem to be the same kind this time, so... You are... Crab Hands! Crab Hands attack their enemies with sharp claws in a somewhat cumbersome fashion. You get it, let it get close enough, however, and expect painful results. Sorry about that. While we're here, I would also like to give a shout-out to Vencer's Prodigy, who uh, pointed out that the Eye of Ra is a laser, not like a futuristic death ray. Which means, technically, it's just focused light. So, that is, you know, not a bad name for it, since Ra is the god of the sun. Well, I interpreted most of that, but yeah. Uh, what was the other one I wrote down? Uh, Clunk279 uh, thinks it's lame that a lot of things depict Anubis as a monstrous villain, given that A, Anubis is generally depicted in the mythology as a pretty chill guy, and B, uh, many Egyptian gods uh, represent different aspects of death because, uh, well, they've got kind of a lot of them. I believe he said Osiris was the lord of the underworld, but Anubis is the god of the process of dying and, uh, and also of mummification. Anubis was the guy who famously weighs your heart against a feather to see if you are worthy after you die. If your heart weighs the same as a feather, then you are you know, free of sin, and you are allowed to go into the underworld. If your heart weighs more than the feather, then your soul gets devoured by a monster that sits next to the throne of Anubis. Oh, okay. Ow! Fucking carrot, asshole. Shame I couldn't go back. Cyclops! That is, hmm. that is not what I imagined when I thought of the Cyclops. Fine. These elusive critters shoot a powerful ray of fire from their single eye and are able to teleport over short distances. I tried to say that whims uh, wistfully because for some reason it ends with uh, ellipses. That is the technical name for when a sentence ends with dit dit dit. Or maybe that's just when you see, like, the three dots in a, uh... Oh, that was how I was supposed to do it. Ray of Fire. Fuck. Yeah, uh... When you're reading a book, and you, like, you see a paragraph break, but instead of just having a paragraph break, they do three, you know, dots to indicate that a lot of time has passed. Uh, that's also an ellipses, and that might be the only one, now that I think about it. I don't know! I'm not an expert in these things, I just know a lot of useless trivia. But yeah, that's the uh, Egyptian afterlife for you. Either you uh, go on to the afterlife, and uh... Oh, fuck. I did the wrong one there. Either you go on to the afterlife, or you get devoured by a monster, and consigned unto oblivion. I remember reading once that, uh... Most people, when they get into the afterlife, simply... Oh, that's right, I actually need these guys. Most people, when they enter the afterlife, just work in the fields of the gods for all eternity. Which I suppose is better than being devoured by a monster, but, uh... I need both of these, don't I? Oh, my leg. Stop that! Oh! It's hard to tell if they're... No, he's not flashing. Okay. That's one. 
you got Fire Armadillo. Give a nickname to the captured Fire Armadillo? I don't have six monsters, so it was not transferred to someone's PC. Ah, fuck. That was on me. Ah, fuck. Yeah, when I have one of those things out, for the record, the right stick just controls that and I can't turn the camera, which is not an ideal uh, situation as far as the controls go. I'm going to figure out getting a third one. If I don't get myself killed. Ah, fuck! So that uh, I can drop one off at the museum. Actually, you know what? I probably... I say I probably need to come back this way anyway, but I you know, never assume anything when it comes to games like this. Oh. Fire Armadillo. Employing the same spinning and charging attack as the Skeletal Armadillo, the Skeletal Fire Armadillo also generates a ball of fire, damaging any opponent's scorching results. I still have this. Fuck! I don't think I actually need to run over there, but you know. Man, I am dying. Of course, now the fucking goat guy will come back. <laughs> Shit on a biscuit. Of course, the jars didn't come back. I'm hoping that Anubis will give me the key to this place, the amulet to this place. Yeah, most people ended up in the afterlife ended up just working in the fields of the gods, but uh, some of the pharaohs had themselves buried with slaves so that they could do their share of the work instead, while they just hung out with the gods and, I don't know, drank Mai Tais? I don't know what the Egyptian gods get up to. Ah, you succeeded! I expected you to fail like your friend Horus. It seems you are made of sterner stuff. Very well, these cursed stones will free two of the inhabitants of the cursed palace. Now you not only have the power to capture any enemy, you can also release fire armadillos and slim burbles. What? These creatures are powerful tools, will aid you in your quest. Use them wisely. I may call upon you again in the future, Sphinx. You got two curse stones. Each magic stone is a power to lift the curse from one inhabitant of the cursed palace. Fuck! You took all three of them. I'm not happy about that. How do I get more, anyway? Hmm, unhappy. I turned V-Sync on. I think that's actually helping a bit. Knock on wood. Oops, I knocked the mouse. Yeah, it looks up and down faster with the mouse, but uh, I am not going to play an Xbox game from 2003 with keyboard and mouse controls. Oh fuck, I almost walked right off. That would have been embarrassing. Can I come in that way? 
No, it's the platform below this. It wasn't here. Nothing helpful except motes of dust. Oh, it's snowing! Yay! I was distracted and can't remember if I did this, so fuck it, I'll just, you know, unnecessary extra save, just in case. Oh jeez, oh shit, oh balls. No, I'm dead. Fine, I won't engage with them. Oh, and there's the timer right there. What appropriate timing. In that case, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy when we give this another shot. Uh, later.